as you see here, pretty much everybody is here. Um, they have been part of my part of my life. They're everybody's like a family to me. Ronnie is like a brother. Hector is like a dad. And then, I, as you can see, you can see my little brother too. He comes here now, and you know everybody here has it's been my family since I was small. Uh, First time we met. Um, I have a funny story. His, uh, we were training at another place not too far from here, and uh, he was walking around the park, walking with his mom. He was about, I think, eight years old, a little chubby kid with his brothers and sister, just out for a walk, and he stumbled onto the, the gym. A uh, little chubby kid, and uh, I think he was taken in by all the noise, you know, everything, all the activity that was going, going on. At that time, I asked him to fill out a form to see if he was interested. Came back the next day, and uh, that's pretty much it. He's been here 13 years since. Uh, I had a, a lot of amateur fights, you know, like 120. Um, you know, I won every national title there was at the in the amateur level, and it was a good experience for me traveling and to different places with my with my teammate Ronnie and Hector and everybody else. And it came close to making the Olympic team, but I I didn't come through so. You know, we decided to turn pro. And what makes Luis special? Um, I think like most young fighters, he's very hungry. He works very hard. Um, you know, this, this is the fine, the fine art, the sweet science. So it takes a lot of work. And I think he's like a gym rat. You know, he spends a lot of time trying to perfect his craft. Whether it's a jab or a hook, he spends a lot of, lot of time in this gym trying to perfect it. I think he's, he's a perfectionist. And I think you need it in this sport. I don't think there's such thing as a God-give talent, but uh, you've got to have some type of talent in order to be a fighter, obviously, and some guts. But it, it's that work ethic that he has. Luis's style is uh, more of a boxer puncher. And the neat thing about Luis, we can obviously make changes when we have to. If we see that our opponent is slow, and then obviously we're going to use our speed, if we see that he can't take a body punch, whatever it is, I mean, he'll, I think, you know, being a southpaw, first thing you're going to see, the majority of southpaws in boxing, they're counterpunchers. Luis can go either way, and I think that's what kind of makes him unique, and I think that's what's going to make him stand out, that if we need to turn it on, we'll turn it on. If we need to sit back, box a little bit, and frustrate you, and then go for the kill, we'll do that as well. Every time they ask me about my mom and my dad, you know, it kind of makes me want to cry because they have dedicated a lot of time for bringing me here to the gym, and I think I'm going to pay them back. I always carry them in my heart. Every time I step in that ring, I, I, I say to myself, no one's gonna take this dream away from me from buying them a big house. Heading back to uh, the Nokia Club again on the 30th, it's exciting for me to go back there. And I think I'm so thankful for, um, for Golden Boy for giving me the opportunity to be back. Um, my goals for this sport is to be one of the, one of the greatest ever just like Oscar and Julio Cesar Chavez. You know, he's 11 and 0. I can't complain. I'm very, very pleased with the way he, he's come through so far. I know he's going to be challenged, you know, as he gets going, as he gets older, it's going to be harder fights, longer fights. And, you know, he'll tell you, and I'll tell you the same thing. We're all up for the challenge. Uh, myself, personally, just like him. So, you know, if we put in the hard work, I think good things will come to those that uh, really just, again, work really hard at it. Uh, with joining Espinosa Boxing Club, uh, it's a great feeling. Uh, they gave me the opportunity to be on their team, uh, Frank. Uh, Frank has uh, many, many, many talented fighters, and he has one of the best, Israel Vasquez, and he has a lot of uh, uh, full potential fighters like Abner Mares, uh, Ronnie Rios, which is my teammate. He trains out of the same gym I do, and my good friend Carlos Molina. So. He has a bunch of um, strong elite fighters, you know, that were in the amateurs with good records. So Spinoza Boxing Club has been good, you know, it's been too good to everybody, and it's like another family too, being part of their, being part of Frank's team. And to tell my fans is just watch me on TV on Versus. I'll be televised on Versus um, to go see me and to buy tickets. <laughs> but that's pretty much it, you know. Um, Right now, I know, I know many people don't know me. I'm pretty, I'm really getting my career started. So now that everybody pretty much sees me, sees me on TV, they know who I am. But um, to all those people that I don't know, just to go see me watch, to, to go see me uh, fight, 
and hopefully they get, they like they like how the way I fight.